Well, I am unsure if the first part that I took uh, was captured on camera. It was outside with infrared. And the way the camera was looking, I think it lost it by the time I got in here. Basically, what I done outside, uh, I had an old Lithuanian stove and fuel tablets, which I heated some hot water on. Um, I can look at the camera. I know I've, I've done already lost it. Uh, the idea was to actually use a stove to heat some water to boil the main in rather than just using a flameless ration heater. Uh, I guess we're just going to go ahead and go with this. Everybody shows we have mistakes and I can guarantee the no, first part didn't take. Well, let's just run with it. Okay. Uh, hey guys and girls. Uh, it's John Magnum here, number one. Happy New Year. Some of, you, some of you have done had it. Some of you are having it tonight, and the rest of us will have it in the next day or two. Um, like I said, yeah, I cheated a little bit. Uh, went outside and used an old Lithuanian stove and a Yugoslav mess kit to heat some water. And once we open this right here, we are going to place the said meal pouch in the water and not use the FRH. The leftover water will be used for coffee. Uh, this is the Lithuanian meal menu number eight. This was given to me by B Temple north of the border along with a bucket list item review ration that will be reviewed later day. Also he gave me a lovely knife which I'm going to show off again here. <coughs> uh, in theory the menu number eight and of course I'll get glare in the camera when I attempt to do this. And I'm not going any farther than halfway up. If I go higher, it blurs. If I go all the way down, it's hard to see. Right, I think, without the glare, right there would be pretty close. Now, this is Lithuanian menu meal number eight. And in theory, in theory only, this menu would be stewed chicken with rice porridge. Um crackers, hazelnuts, uh, honey, go on the crackers, orange drink, coffee, sugar, a wet nap, matches, dry fuel tabs, stove, like the one I used outside in the dark, that did not take, so that done a lot of good, so, little zip tie to put all of your extras back in the plastic bag and sealed up. Plastic spoon, flameless ration heater, um, and of course the Ruta chocolate. There should also be a manual how to use a FRH or the heater. Um, I've went through this on the basics on many reviews I've done, especially when I started out. When I come back and try to do it again, uh, no use in going through the basics. If I have to, I'll put another review up if anybody has any questions. Now, this should be the menu in here, but any foreign meal may be substituted, can be substituted, and you never know. So, uh, like I said, this one should have coffee and orange drink. Now, Renee, uh, I said the next Lithuanian meal I got that had tea and lemon, I would mix together and try your way. Uh, I don't think I'm 
going to try it with coffee and orange juice. For some reason, that is not appealing to me. So I'm going to change the camera around just slightly and uh, let's see what I can come up with here. I done messed up the first, but let's just go ahead and run with it and have some fun. I know it's going to be good food. Okay, once again, friends, Lithuanian menu number eight. Uh, this was given to me by Mr. B. Temple. He also was nice enough to give me something I never thought I would receive. Uh, Australian CR1M. I've also had other friends uh, give me things I never thought that I would receive. I will trade. If somebody sends me something, I will send them something back in return. Hopefully make it worth their worthwhile. So if anybody, anybody wants to trade, send me anything, uh, I'll make it worth your while. May not be a meal, might be a knife. Uh, no telling what it could be coming from me. So, uh, what I'm going to do right now, uh, be Temple's ration, and uh, at this point in time, and I see no changes lately for coming, uh, Mr. B. Temple's knife he sent me, yes, that is Damascus steel. Yes, that is homemade. You can see every layer in it. I've had people try to get that from me, and no, they ain't. Thank you, Brother Brent. I, I am so proud of this. I, I don't have the words to say. I'm also proud of this meal and the other one you sent and the other gifts. <laughs> But right now, let's open this up carefully because this is very sharp. And I'll go from the bottom. Like I said, I do not want to put too much pressure because if I just lean it against it, and I got my hands blocking the camera again. Don't you just love it? And had the computer turned off, phones turned off, no interruptions I thought. Dogs that went out, guess what? As soon as I start taping, the dogs need out again. Give me just one second, please. Okay, first thing I want to do right now, dig through, find the main. I'll come to the rest later. I want the main to go ahead and be put later. The first thing I want is the main to be soaking in my Yugoslav. Canteen cup, heater, cup, stove, pot, however you prefer to say that. And I'm going to save this time back the flameless ration heaters which are absolutely excellent. And if there's any doubt of that, let's, see, let's move that to the side. And the door opening was the dogs coming back in. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, uh, move that to the side. These are instructions how to use the stove, the flameless ration heater, etc. Now, Let's see, maybe I got every, most of it off camera. Let's see, um, main is heating in the cup there, and we'll come back with the meal. I'm going to leave that right there to open stuff with, and I have my titanium spoon and fork from 4nmre.com. Thank you very much. Um, now let's proceed. I will move slightly to the left off camera and that is an accessory pack. I will save for later. That is the folding stove that I used outside. Which I will also show later. 
The actual ingredients of the meal are crackers, biscuits, uh, take your name, uh, pans of waffles, tank treads, very dense biscuits, which have a good taste, very nice season. Some are hard as a rock and some are a little bit easier on the teeth. I hope these are a little easier on the teeth. We also have a pack of hazelnuts. Gilberts, whatever you want to call them. Now, this is about the fifth or the sixth Lithuanian ration I've had. Everything is good in them. The only request I would make, these are, as a general rule, they are unroasted and unsalted. They are plain. They are good, but they're just a little plain. Something to think about Lithuania. Uh, maybe roast them, put a little bit of salt. Um, let's see. We have another little pack here. Now let's see if what is in here is supposed to be in here. Okay, we have the root of chocolate. Uh, sorry, Renee, I'm not sure. That's going to survive you <coughs> by the next time I see you. We have, <coughs> excuse me, cold weather, rain, and sinuses are a pain in the butt. Bear with me. Mead, honey. Feels a little bit crystallized, but that's not an issue, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. We have a, what do we have? It's amazing if I turn it this way to open one, I have to turn it this way to look at the next one. Sugar, 12 grams of sugar, that's a whole lot of sugar for just the one coffee. <coughs> we have, once again, Oh, this bag is just absolutely making me work for it tonight. This is our uh, vitamin C drink, orange flavored. I'm not sure if that will focus, and I don't want to get the glare on it. Uh, right about there, maybe. Uh, we also have Lithuanian instant coffee. Okay. Let's see, that's all that's in this bag. We'll go over here and show some of the other items. Okay. First of all, the little folding stove. Most of you, and there's the glare again. Anyway, these two tabs fold this way, these two tabs fold the opposite way. Two goes down to stand it up. One comes up, to, or two come up to brace whatever you're heating. That's what I used outside, the exact same stove. If I think of it, I'll bring it in here in just a minute. Um, set that off to the side right now. Um, the other package here, we have fuel tablets for said stove. We have a lightweight spoon, very lightweight, but this one is not cracked, so it would be functional, but I have my own, y'all. So. We have a lemon-scented wet wipe, wet nap, 
however you prefer to call it. Hard to not get the glare on that, dang it. We also have a zip tie to what I have unboxed, the trash I have put in this bag. And whatever you put in the bag, you will use this zip tie to, when you want to, get rid of your trash. Or if you have leftovers, you can seal the leftovers up and put them in the bag and zip tie it up with that too. Last item on the agenda Lithuanian matches. Most likely blue or purple. And watch me say that and it'll be red or white. Um, well, wrong direction. Aha, blue tip. I got it half right. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to change some items around here, and we'll be right back with you. Okay, a uh, little bit sidetracked. I still haven't got anything moved around like I wanted. However, uh, this folding stove I showed you earlier, by the time everything is bent, it would look like this one that I heated the water up with for my coffee and the actually to heat the main with. So I'm going to move the old one to the side. That's what the new one looks like. Uh, and while we're getting ready, let's see what we are here. We have instant coffee and we have sugar which will go in my favorite coffee mug thank you Art and Nina for an MRE .com. Uh, chocolate we'll put here for now hazelnuts we will open up with B Temple's knife being careful not to add any more scars than I already have my hands. And these are excellent. However, I wish they would roast them and salt them. That much would make just so much of a difference on the taste. Uh, honey, this is a little bit set up. Let me see how warm. Yep. I'm going to drop it in over the side into some warm water along with where my ration is heating. And by the time I get to it, it should be less crystallized. Okay, we have our orange drink. Got a special little mug here. Any of you that are my age, you know when they give them away at Long John Silver's. <laughs> I hadn't brought that out in a while. Oh, I've got so many mugs that I can use. Um, Dogs, thank you again for making me stop and let you out. They get excited when they know food's coming. So bear with me one more time. Apologies. Okay, guys, during that little hiatus, thank you, Jack and Ace, uh, I took time to mix up the coffee and sugar. I've had Lithuanian coffee before as well as a tea. I enjoy both. Let's see what this one tastes like. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. That right there is it has coffee flavor. It's mild. I didn't even use the whole pack of sugar. It's not overly sweet. 
and it by any means certainly is not strong. Now, well, that little soldier got over there. Let's go ahead and try hazelnut. Two or three. They're good. Roasting and salting would be better, but they are good. Now I'm going to move the coffee after one drink here. Off to the side slightly. Our orange energy drink. Sip that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Somewhere between tang and Kool-Aid and a little bit of vitamins mixed in, but well, very good. Oh, I guess that leaves us down to the main, which was stewed chicken and rice. Hopefully no substitutions. If it's not chicken or it's not rice, uh, we'll figure it out as we go. Slightly off screen. Bring me Temple's knife back. Now I know that's a good pack. Otherwise that knife would slice right through it. Yes, I will clean the knife bead. Ain't nothing going to happen to that knife, boss. That is my pride and joy, sir. And of course, block the camera. I've got to learn to look at the viewfinder instead of looking at the food that I'm wanting to try. And for those of you that do reviews, you'll know that's difficult to do. You will find out that camera angles, uh, the direction you talk into the microphone, uh, distractions, be it phone, computer, answering machine, dogs wanting to go out the door is part of it. Do not be upset. If something happens, you adapt, you improvise, you overcome. Have fun with it. take a sn sneezing fit on the camera. Don't worry about that either. Honey, this was hard as a rock. Dipped it in. The <coughs> excuse me again friends. Boiling water that everything was cooked in. And behold I believe yeah, well it's a little bit thick but Considering it was hard as a rock, I, I believe that is pleasantly um, appealing. Get my wet nap out. After sneezing, I'm going to wipe my hands and use a handkerchief to blow my nose. Otherwise, uh, it's tickling and I'm going to start sneezing again. Bear with me. scented. Yeah, much like lemon pledge. House smell like I've been polishing furniture. Hopefully my wife will think that at least. Nah, she knows better. Okay, friends. Uh, I'm going to go straight to the main, number one. I don't want to get too close to the camera or too far away. Let's experiment. Oh, wow. I've had pork. I've had beef. Like I said, this is my, either my fifth or sixth Lithuanian meal. I'm unsure. I may have had chicken before, but 
I have absolutely no problem with this. Does not need salt, does not need pepper. Good seasoning. I didn't look at the package, and if I did, I probably couldn't translate it anyway without Google Translate. I believe there's a hint of bay leaf and just a few more. The larger bites of chicken, like this long soldier right here, a little bit tough. But now the rest, as tender as can be. I can pick out potatoes, carrots, Very, very good. Wow. I'm happy. Want to make a mess, but I'm happy. Okay, the crackers. Mm. Okay. These are... Ever so often you get one that's a little bit soft, easy to chew. Uh, guess what, friends? These are the tank treads. These are hard as a rock. Good taste, caraway seed of the seasonings. Tastes great, but you really got to watch your teeth when you do it. <laughs> mm. Nothing wrong with them crackers. Set that back. A little bit of honey. On the cracker. Tastes absolutely perfect. Are the crackers tough? Yes. Are they hard? Yes. Do they taste good? Yes. And does everything go well together? Matter of fact, we can, <clears throat> my arthritis will let me. Let's bring a few more kids into the pool here. And let's try chicken and rice with the crackers. And again, it's very good. The crackers are dense. It takes me a little longer to chew them, no better than what my teeth are. That's the only problem. Taste is absolutely great. Crackers, chicken, rice, pair wonderfully together, yes. Drink my orange drink. A few hazelnuts. Excellent. Roasted and solid would be nicer, but Excellent, nonetheless. Oh, yeah. And now, Renee, I'm sorry. These chocolates will not survive until your next visit. I know oh wow I forgot how good them taste I know this is torturing you but Morningwood 
you got his recipe for the Chex Mix so you should have come out ahead on that um, I would not let you steal B Temple's knife or um, Steve at Traversing Food King of Hearts although you like both so hopefully somewhere we can meet in the middle and you won't be too mad at me and I did tell you the next time I got one with the lemon drink and the tea move the honey aside I would mix them together however I'm not sure coffee and orange would come out just the same oh, yeah, I got honey honey and chocolate Breakfast Champions. Okay, Renee, that's one for you to try. Wow, 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 wow. Well, I've been long winded enough. Uh, despite all the mistakes, Yes, I'm licking honey off my fingers. I hope y'all had fun with this review. I had fun doing it. And any of you that want to try a view, go ahead. There's going to be mistakes. There's going to be mess ups. Don't let it bother you. Have fun and just go on. That's part of it. You can edit all you want, but people are going to see if you're real or not. Show a mistake every so often. In my case, every review I do, they're going to know you're real. So, all I can say is thank you, B Temple, for the meal, the other gifts, uh, the knife especially, uh, Art, Nina, 4 MRE, I got your cup. I got your tactical sport. Uh, you got an order in the mail on the Spanish. Uh, ben and Candy, thank you for the tray. I made a comment on somebody else's that had some black spots on it. He said, I got that from putting a FRH on it, and I got these little black spots. I said, mine's been that way, and I'm going to keep this same tray until it gives up, or I do. And right now, I think it's going to last longer than I am, friends. So, uh, I hope y'all had a pretty fun time. I did. I had mistakes, yeah. I ain't going to hide them. Don't care. <laughs> That's life in general. If I can give somebody just a laugh or a little bit of information, I'm happy. And I hope you all are the same. From Somerset, Kentucky, I tell you peace. This is John also known as Magnum. I hope you all have a safe and happy New Year.